This is part 51 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how regular expressions can be used to perform client-side validation. On most of the websites, it's common to check if the format of the email is valid. A valid email should have at symbol and the dot character. The dot character should be present after the at symbol. Before and after the at symbol, there should be some other characters. Similarly, before and after the dot character, there should be some other characters. It's very easy to check if the format of the email is valid or not using a regular expression. Here is what we want to achieve. As I start typing the email address in the text box, now let's say for example I enter letter A. Letter A is not a valid email address. At that point, the background color of the text box should change to red color immediately, indicating that it's an invalid email. So as I keep typing, let's say for example I enter letter ABC, even at that point, it's not a valid email address. So the background color should remain red. As I keep typing, and the moment the email address becomes valid, at that point, the background color should automatically change to green color, indicating that it's a valid email address. So let's see how to achieve this using JavaScript and regular expression. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So we need a text box. And let's give this text box an ID. Now, let's go ahead and write a JavaScript function to validate the email address. Let's create a variable. Let's call this email text box. And let's get the email text box. The ID of the email text box is txt email. Let's create another variable to hold the email itself and we retrieve the email using the value property of the email text box. And let's create another variable to hold the email regular expression. So now we need a regular expression that can validate you know, whether if an email is valid or not. And I copied this regular expression from the internet. So we are not going to go into the details of this regular expression. So basically this is going to check if the format of the email is valid or not. So we have the regular expression now. Now look at this. On the red and green background, white font color looks great. So let's change the font color uh, to white. So we already have the email text box. So email text box dot style dot color equals white. If I'm going to use this email regular expression and the regular expression object has got test method and we want to test this email. So if the test method returns true at that point we want to set the background color to green else we want to set the background color to red. Right, so what's going on here? So this test method is going to check whether if the string that is present in this variable email matches the pattern that is specified by this regular expression. If it matches, then the test method is going to return true. In that case, we know it's a valid email and we are setting the background color of the text box to green. Otherwise, we are setting it to red. So we have this function validate email. Now we want to call this on key up event. So when is the key up event fired? As soon as we release a key. So let's say for example when I type letter A, you know, key down and key up event sucker. So on key up event, we want to call this validate email. Right, let's save the changes, reload the page. So here we have uh, a text box to enter our email address. Notice this, as soon as I type letter A, that's not a valid email address. So the background color is changed to red. So I keep typing abc at gmail, that is still an invalid email address, dot, that is still an email address. Look at this, the moment I type 
COM, it becomes um, you know green, so indicating that it's a valid email address. And look at this. After you know, I type the email address. If I try to include any other characters, notice that again the background color becomes red, indicating that it's an invalid email address. Look at this. As I keep deleting the characters, you know, as soon as again it becomes a valid email, the background is changed to green. On this slide, because I don't have enough space, I, I couldn't include the complete regular expression. Uh, but I will have this full regular expression available on my blog in case you need it. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.